Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today we're going to do our third video on design options in ARCHICAD 27. In the first video, we did the basics about design options. Links in the description below, maybe on the screen if I can figure that out. In the second video, I talked more specifically about defaults in the template, and then I walked through a project where I was using design options to look at different second stories layouts and then also exteriors. In this video, we're going to look at design options, but not so much about the design options themselves, but how to manage a lot of things going on on site with design options. Before we get into this, uh, remember to like and subscribe and follow the YouTube channel, all that uh, YouTube stuff. I appreciate it when you do that. And then also, Everything I've talked about in this video is related to my work environment for ARCHICAD 27 and my Shuno open template for ARCHICAD 27. So anything you see here you like, uh, you can do it with my template. Go to the website shunome.com and download it. It is free if you want it to be. So, okay, let's dive in. Here we have the existing conditions of a house. My daughter Madeline and I measured this a couple months ago and I've been working on design. So here we got the existing house. So first off, one of the things that's going to happen is we're going to have some cuts in this site. So I made a design option set called site cuts. I have existing cuts to be removed. That we can see I'm turning off part of this driveway sidewalk in this back patio. I have a video on how to do site models in ARCHICAD and existing conditions models. Both those videos talk about how to actually do the modeling that's showing there. So anyway, so we got those, I can turn those on and off. And then I have also, go back over here, these other cuts that pertain to where the new addition is going to go. So you could imagine using design options for cut and fill. I haven't actually done it to run the calculations, but it should be possible to have all that stuff. Now with design options, it's there. And then as you recall from the previous video, schedules, schedule what is in the visible design option combination saved for that view. So you could have one schedule that um, shows cut, shows fill, all that. Well, it'd be multiple views, the same schedule, but it's doable. Okay, so we got those cuts there. Now with this project, one thing that is very important because it's on the Puget Sound, it's looking at, at the beautiful water views, is we our design can't mess up the neighbor's views. So I went over there and I modeled the neighbor's house crudely, right? Because we're not actually going to see it in our model, but we want to see from it. So I went to the site with permission of the neighbor and the client, and I went and I measured what I needed to do. I extrapolated the site stuff, uh, like contours. So the sport court, we have this side of the house, we got the decks. Um, and what that means is we can now go into the model and we can look out and we can see the neighbor's house. But we don't want to just see the neighbor's house, we want to see the view beyond. So in addition to modeling the neighbor's house, I also modeled the water and the land all the way across the Puget Sound. So here, here we have a couple miles, I think it's like five miles from the shore here to the shore over here. This in general is a bad idea in ARCHICAD. And because ARCHICAD struggles with big distances, we're looking far and near. So if we go back into the model here, you can see the neighbor's house is starting to glitch out, right? I can't actually see the windows close up and the land far away. So I have both the accurate earth and then I have what's called, what I call the faked horizon. So now I can see the water there and I can see it there and I can go into this room and I can see it there. And what that is, is it's the same shoreline and then it's just a big wall. And that big wall is set to the right height that when I go look at, let's see, I've got exterior views, neighbor views here. If I go here, you can see where the horizon is. If I switch to the earth, the water line is effectively the same position, right? So here, there, right? Um, it's also, you know, here, there. That's feeling a little high. I might have messed with it. But anyways, that all that'll work. So we could switch between the two and like, in, in this view, the land works, so we can see that. Um, let's turn that off because that's spoiler. So anyways, so we got that, so we can see the land, but you wouldn't want to keep this on all the time because it makes zooming around really hard. 
So I can just, let's just make sure the main model is a default. I can just turn off the earth. Likewise, I can turn on and off the neighbor's house. And you could do all this in earlier versions of ARCHICAD with layers, right? With pinned renovations, filters, all sorts of things. But design options make it so easy. You just model as if you would the regular house. You just work with all the right layers, everything, and then you just put it on that design option and it disappears. So, you know, that's why we get all these things. Now, again, this proposed design, you could set this up so we turn on the land, so we turn on the neighbor's view, so you could quickly, I talked about this in the previous video, you could quickly turn on the things you want in the proposed design and have that show up in all your drawings. So you could quickly look at a section and see the house beyond, or you could look at an elevation and do that. Okay, so there's the neighbor's house. What's next? Okay, so let's go back and look here. Now, with this house, we're looking at some pretty wild roof forms. So I can go through and show you, you know, we've got, oh, let's do it this way. You know, kitchen and mud one is, is this option. Kitchen and mud two is this option. And so this is, you know, nice and early. Actually, when I was showing the client this, I was using a white model. So they're just seeing, you know, really simple forms, right? I am just want to have a conversation with them about what they like and don't like. I'm not married to any of these options, but it's really fast to use design options to be like, look at all these different solutions we can have. So we have that. And if we, and that's great, but because we're looking at, they turn on, you know, the view from the neighbor's house, one of the things we have to compare is old to new. So in this project, I have also created, uh, where are we here? Existing volume. So let's turn off this white model for a second. Let's go back to, to this view. And so you can see I have here this red thing, which if I just isolate it, is a morph that is the volume of the existing house. So I have that and I can turn that on and off. So at any point in the project, I can see how the new roof aligns to the uh, existing roof. And this, this comes in, in real handy because you know if we're up here in the sport court, we can now see the horizon. We can see the earth. We can turn on and off. Let's go back to the, just the horizon one. We can see the horizon. We can turn on and off the old model. Um, we can see what that roof form looks like with, with that. You know, So we can start shuffling through all this and it becomes so easy to use this as just a quick design tool to understand how the consequences of our design actions are going to affect all these things. If I go back to you know existing plan, um, you can see that red form really aligns. I'm not sure that must be. Uh, there's some design options here with elements on the existing that should be new. But anyways, you can see that. Uh, let's turn off the fake horizon. So let's do that. Okay. Again, you always want to be able to turn off big model things that are far away. So we can turn all that off, and you can see okay there is the existing form. Now, something else we could do here, let's go to say design option five. Let's turn on the that, let's turn on the earth, let's turn on existing volume. If you set the existing volume as the active, we could fade the environment and we could really start, you know, bringing this down. So maybe we do this as a uniform color. You can really start to see like, the new really pop compared to, or the old really pop can compared to the, to the new. And so maybe you take a screenshot of this and let's turn off the earth because that is a wild, right? But anyways, so there you have it. I think we'll stop here. I'm going to do one more short video, theoretically short. We know how I go on sometimes about modules and design options, but hope this sparked some creative ideas for you to see that not only can design options be what the roof looks like or what the floor plan looks like. It can also be additional site elements. It can be original forms of the building, all sorts of creative solutions that were all doable in earlier versions of ARCHICAD, but just much harder. Okay, as always, just to recap, download the template, ask me questions in the comments, and I'll see you back in a little bit and we'll talk a little bit more about design options. Thank you very much.